frogs, and we're here today to talk about mantid uthicas. Um, we have two types that we carry, one being the Chinese mantid uthicas and one being the Carolina mantid. Obviously, we have some different sizes and different textures to the actual uthicas themselves. Um, when you get them, they're going to be packaged like this. You'll be able to open them. Some of them will have sticks on them. Some of them, like these, will not. And then when you actually get them, you'll be able to take them out. You can either attach them outside, or if you're going to try and keep them inside, you can put them into like a screen mesh um, container. Some people use butterfly houses in particular. When they first hatch for you, they're going to be extremely concerned with water. And they'll actually pop out with the gills here that are in between the, which there's ribs to them basically. And you'll actually be able to see them if they popped open when they've actually, like the nymphs have hatched and come out. These ones are a little bit different. There is some back popping with them, but there's also a little hole at the front of them that the Carolinas can come out of. Carolinas are much smaller than Chinese mantids. Um, so obviously that does come down to different size containers for them. You always want a container that is at least double the length and double the height of the mantis. So when they go to go upside down to molds and stuff like that, they're not going to get stuck on any of your shelf straight or any of those things that are in there. Um, they're fairly easy to care for. You're going to want to separate them pretty quickly because they can cannibalize each other. And like I said, they're going to be extremely concerned with water when you first get them. Please make sure when you are purchasing Uthicas that you have somewhere close by that you have food source before you can get an order in somewhere to get some fruit flies for them because they will be mostly concerned with water and then they'll just want to stab little fruit flies and be really confused and they'll toss them off their hands. Once you actually get your food for them, you're going to want to feed them every couple of days. You'll be able to tell if they need more either food or hydration or anything like that by the size of their root and actually they'll look more like a banana when they're full and they'll look kind of like a seed packet when they're not. Um, so they're pretty simple to care for for the most part. Definitely make sure that you have enough space for them because each one can give off quite a few nymphs anywhere from like 25 to 100 depending on the casing there could be more. You do get two casings with our product just to make sure that if there is one done that you get another one that should hatch for you. Do make sure that you're not going to drop into super cold temperatures. If you have any questions on them or anything like that, or your care after they hatch, give us a call at 1-800-691-8178 or shoot us an email to info at joshesfrogs.com. If we can't answer your questions in customer service, we'll get you to a curator that can.